a puzzle. A complete puzzle. Well, almost complete anyway. If you have a close look at it, you can see that there's a piece, a piece missing. Right here. See? Idiots missed it. Well, can't finish it. Well, I've just finished my thousand piece puzzle, well, almost. Uh, I'm not sure if a dog ate it or if it just wasn't in the box ever. Uh, but I've just decided I was gonna recreate uh, a piece for it. I've got this little bit of cardboard here. Um, I'm not sure of how it's gonna go. I've never done it before, but uh, here we go. So firstly what I'll do is I'll get my little bit of cardboard and place it underneath our missing um, puzzle piece area and then I'll, I'll trace it onto the cardboard. So let's see how I go about doing this. That's good enough. Okay. All right. And now what I'll do is I'll cut it out, and um, yeah, and then I'll paint it and see how it looks. Uh, not entirely sure uh, if this is the right way to do this, but uh. I'll give it a go anyway. Ugh, bloody annoying. <laughs> ah, this is the right tool. A jigsaw piece. Okay, looks a little rough, but should do the job. So, because it's rough, I'm going to put a couple layers, or actually four layers of paper over the uh, cardboard. Um, so, yeah, I'll just, I'll draw, I'll just put my grey lead over the required spot. But when I cut this out, I want to um, keep the grey lead on the bit of paper. And uh, yeah, I'll cut it out with scissors. Oh yeah. Okay, well, there it is. And there's the other piece, so they look quite similar. So now what I'll do is um glue them together. So I'll, I'll glue all four sides of the um, the A4 or just a standard bit of paper together uh, with this glue. Give 
this will give me a nice smooth uh, base to paint on. So it's a little messy. Right, stick it onto the cardboard. Get rid of a few of the uh, dregs. I'll let that dry. And get onto the blue paint. So I'll match up the blue paint for the sky and apply. I'll sort of do two layers of it, I think. Just so there's no grey lead showing. Yeah, I'll just do the two layers in one go. Uh, time for a few details. I've got to stencil out uh, the missing part, so I'll put it, the puzzle piece I made into there and just slightly draw the design with a pencil. And this will ensure that I'll put the uh, paint in the correct spots, or thereabouts anyway. As you can see, I've, I've got this on top of my iPad. I took a, a photo of the uh, box and uh, scaled that picture to the size of the missing puzzle piece. So it's, it's a good visual aid to you. All right, so now I'll put some brown on. In the right spots. I've actually made a couple of different brown tones. So, And just mark everywhere there's a dark brown sort of colour. Okay. Now, I've got to put some green on. Green and yellow. You can sort of do those at the same time.
That's not too bad. Put a few uh, yellow leaves on it and I think that's looking pretty close. All right, so I'll let that dry. And uh, I think I'll put a, I say clear coat of um, PVA on it just to seal it in. A bit sticky. I'm happy with that. Well, one piece remade. I think it looks pretty good. Um, let's put it on the board and see how the whole picture looks. And boom, it fits like it. And the whole picture together, I think if you look back, you can't really tell. You know, I don't know if you really know about it, but you look back and it doesn't look any different. I'll rip the puzzle apart and I'll, I'll see if the kids, see how long it takes them to find it. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it.